Hello, class. Hello. Good evening. Hello, good night. Good evening. Hey, that's very good. That's very good. Good evening or good night? Good evening. The two are correct, but good evening is for hello. Good night is for goodbye. Okay. I know that in Spanish, when we go, hi, people, good night. Buenas noches. Oh, hi. But in English, you say good evening. When you say good night, it's like bye bye. All right. So in this moment is what? Good evening or good night? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good Very evening. good. Evening. When we finish the class and we say, okay, bye. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Good night. All right. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Let me open up the material that we're going to do today. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I am fine. Thank you, teacher. Awesome. Nice. Teacher, tengo un problema. Siempre me cuesta para entrar. No sé por qué. Y este, no he podido entrar a la plataforma tampoco. Eh, disculpe una pregunta. ¿Alguien más le ha costado? Sí, me costó Mi... entrar. A la plataforma. Porque decía que la oh, no, no. estaba en otra reunión. No, a la, a la clase. Ok, que miren, disculpe, aquí puede ser muchos factores. Una, oh, de, de peor a mejor escenario, o, o su compu está mala, o su internet está malo, o algo estamos haciendo malo. Ok, entonces. Yo eh, realmente eh, tengo mi internet muy malo, incluso. La señal del celular también está muy malo, así que desde ayer le escribí por ahí, no sé si lo vio, pero, o sea, vuelvo a recalcar lo que hay momentos en los que me saca de la clase, por lo mismo. Y sí, por eso, eso no enciendo la cámara, porque eh, me consume más, como más calidad, y entonces veo todo borroso y okay. no escucho bien. Lo que yo les recomiendo es que si ustedes tienen a alguien en su casa usando el internet, cuando ustedes están en clase y estas personas están o en YouTube o están bajando, descargando cosas, obviamente les va a hacer eso a ustedes más o le, más lento a incluso no, no uh -huh. poder usar el sistema. Porque recuerden, ahorita ustedes están jalando bastante, están jalando audio y video. Necesitan una buena conexión de Internet. Y si tienen a alguien más usándola en su casa, y como les repito, y alguien más está usando, está streaming o algo que es lo más normal, eso les puede estar afectando también. Y a veces pueda que no sea, un ejemplo, Claudia, pueda que no sea solamente el internet el malo, pueda que también sea que mucha gente lo esté usando. O sea, hay, hay muchos <risa> factores que hay que ver. ¿no? Uh -huh. lo que Después, es. no es lo mismo estar en WhatsApp que estar en en YouTube. WhatsApp casi no necesita nada de de, de, de de internet porque solo está mandando mensajes. YouTube al contrario, sí, porque YouTube está descargando algo en vivo. Le está jalando video, le estás jalando audio. Entonces, eh, eso significa, ustedes saben qué es el RAM. En una computadora hay dos cosas, dos tipos de memoria. Hay una que es RAM y una que es ROM. El ROM es, el ROM solo sirve para guardar. El RAM, que es RAM, se llama Random Access Memory. El RAM es qué tan inteligente es su computadora. Entre más, entre más RAM tiene, es más rápida. Entonces, si, si ustedes tienen muchas ventanas abiertas en una compu, 
aunque no estén usando una ventana, pero de solo por el hecho de tenerlas abiertas, están trabajando. Su computadora está, porque tiene activa esa, esa. Por eso es que siempre es bueno de que si están en computadora, dejen el escritorio en su computadora totalmente vacío. No dejen nada puesto ahí. Mire, con mi papá tenía un problema de que, pero nunca entiende. Mi papá tiene un archivo que tiene, creo que, no sé, pero tiene metida como cuatro películas en ese archivo y lo tiene en su escritorio. Y mi mamá siempre me llama, mira la compu está lenta, está lenta. Y cuando voy, aunque él no esté viendo la tele, las películas, solo por el hecho que la tiene en el escritorio, la computadora la lee como activa. Y lo pesado que es eso, hace que la, la compu vaya más lenta. Entonces ya, ya le digo, guárdelo aparte. Cabe, con eso pasa, pum. Pero si la, la plataforma le dice que alguien está en reunión o algo así, sálgase y vuelvas a meter. Porque a mí a veces me da ese problema también. Y menos mal que yo soy el host. Y me dice a veces, el host no, no te puede permitir entrar ahorita. Y yo, pues, qué raro, porque yo soy el host. Entonces lo que hago es que lo cierro todo y lo vuelvo a abrir y ya, ya entro normal. Ok, entonces como les repito, hay muchos factores detrás de eso, pero si ahora, como me dijo Ana, si a todos les está dando el mismo error, ok, sí, definitivamente es algo en la plataforma. Y eso. Pero si no, hay que ver todos esos factores. Ok, class. Right. Ok, so let's start. Okay. Let's start, let's start. So yesterday, today we're going to do conjunctions. Look at the screen, please. Hi, nice to see you again. ¿Pueden oír? This time we'll talk about conjunctions. We'll talk yeah. Okay, so pay attention to conjunctions. Talk about and, but, though, and however. After the explanation, we want you to practice. So please stay with us. Conjunctions. It's an exciting city and the weather is nice. It's a big city, but it's not too big. It's a big city. It's not too big, though. It's a big city. It's not too big, however. We use AND to connect two positive or two negative ideas. For example, the city's ugly and small. Canada is a big country and very clean. Notice there are two ideas in each sentence which are joined by the conjunction AND. Therefore, we can give more or extra information. Did you notice which punctuation goes before AND? That's right, a comma. Let's talk about the conjunction BUT. This one connects a positive idea with a negative one, and it goes in the middle of a sentence, and a comma goes before the conjunction as well. Follow me in these examples. The park is clean but it is very small. The food is good, but it is very expensive. We have two conjunctions left, though and however. These two conjunctions are also used to connect a positive idea with a negative one, but they go at the end of the sentence. Take a look. It's a big city. It's not too crowded, though. He is really good looking, He's not nice, however. Can you write one sentence using though and another one using and? Do it in our discussion box. You may follow our example. 
We use and. Too big. It's a big city. It's not too big, though. It's a big city. It's not too big, however. We use and to connect two parts. Okay, let's first start with though. Conjunctions. It's an exciting city, and the weather is nice. It's a big city, but it's not too big. It's a big city. It's not too big, though. It's a big city. It's not too big, however. Okay. We use AND to connect two positive or two negative ideas. So, very simple. AND is to connect pretty much two positive or two negative sentences. El Salvador is small and beautiful. Obviamente aquí me refiero small as something positive, right? But I can't say El Salvador is beautiful and ugly. It doesn't make Why sense. Not? Because and we use to connect two positives and two negatives. Yeah, uh, we can combine, right? From one negative and one positive. We're gonna use just for positive or just for negative? Just for negative. Sentence. Yeah, if you wanna combine this, El Salvador is beautiful. El Salvador is a beautiful country. It's a little uh, dangerous though. I keep some of her though, but that we'll use later. It's a big city. What does it mean though? It's not. Aunque, pero. Ah, right. So right. Salvador es, es bien bello, aunque es un poco peligroso. Yeah. All right. But so in this case, we use and for two negatives or two uh, positives. So who can give me an example? Uh, Jose Arturo, give me an example about Santa Ana. No, no, no. Give me an example about Chevrolet cars. Chevrolet cars. Oh, um, I'm sorry. Jose Arturo. Oh, yeah. Jose Arturo. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Um, Chevrolet car is uh, very nice and economic. And um, they're very what? It's very nice. And very nice and economic. And economic. Awesome. Very good. All right. Let me see. Let me open more of the class. Anna Lisette, hi. Hi. Tell me about using and. Give me negative, I, something negative about. About drugs. Oh, drugs? Drugs. Ah, oh, droga. Yes. Um, the drugs is... No, drugs, the whole drugs, that's plural. So drugs are... Drugs are um, extremely bad. And bad... Um, And expensive. Uh -huh. And expensive. Yeah, drugs are bad and expensive. Drugs are bad and stupid. Drugs are expensive 
and unnecessary, but there, there's many, many things that you can say. All right, good. Jose Carlos, tell me something about Entre Nubes restaurant. Um, it's a nice restaurant, uh, but it's very expensive. Okay. Okay, good. It's nice, but expensive. All right, that's how we use, but estamos usando and. So um, if you tell me it's nice and. Expensive. No, but remember when we say and, we say two positives or two negatives. So nice is positive, expensive is negative. Uh, it's a nice restaurant and nice weather. weather. Okay, good. It's a nice restaurant and it has nice weather. Excellent. Let me see. Her, uh, Herson, right? Mm. Yes, teacher. Can you tell me something about Tell me something about you. Oh, you don't like soccer, correct? Um, no. <laughs> I remember. No, was it Cesar Adonai that doesn't like soccer, or um, yes? Harrison, um, where do you? I'm sorry. Where do you live and work? Uh, I live in Japan. And where do you work? Uh, I not work. I, oh, you don't I'm work. Okay, can you tell me something about Soyapango? Something positive or negative? Um, in, it's, uh, the water is hot. And? And um, it's small. Okay. Soyapango is small? Mm, for me, yes. Okay. I think Soyapango is big and populated. Bien poblado, el grande poblado. Poblado, yes. Okay, yeah. Miriam? Mm -hmm. Yes, I want to participate, please. Sure. Okay. Uh, I, uh, I talk about uh, Ilopango. All right, good. I, I live in I live in Ilopango. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, tourist center of Ilopango is very beautiful, but extremely dangerous. Okay, where mm -hmm. is that? Apulo. Ah, uh, Apulo. Uh huh. Tourist really? center. Really? Really? I yeah. You know what? I hear that it's very beautiful, but dangerous. Ah uh, yes. I, I I have a restaurant there. Come on. <laughs> you have a restaurant in Apulo? Really? <laughs> yeah. It is it is um family business, but it is about restaurant near to the lake. Uh, are you talking about like uh, five meters from the lake? Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> no, no, but you know, I, 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 I'm sorry, Jose. I'm sorry for you. <laughs> no, no, no. That's okay. That happened. That happened is the um, I don't think so that it's too dangerous, but remember when when somebody is not living there, it is oh, a little I complicated guess. for I that. Guess. But, uh, but what about what about tourist, if you're a tourist? <laughs> yeah, if you are a tourist, um you can be there. Um, for example, I have um, my parents' house live there, and we have um <laughs> some time. That can be there from 6 a.m., 7 a.m. until 7 or 9 p.m. And oh. doesn't happen something. You know, I, ha I have not gone to Apulo, f I don't know, in 15 years, maybe. 15 years. Wow. <laughs> if you decided, let me know. <laughs> no, really, I want to go someday because I, you know, because it's very close to the city. Yeah, it's very close. 
And it's nice. I, I think that it's nice. You know, yeah. What, what is place. the name of your restaurant? Because just in case I go, <laughs> I can go to your restaurant. Um, it is Comedor Los Almendros. Los Almendros. Okay. Yeah, Los Almendros. Because we have, we have a lot of <laughs> okay. you know, almendros. Or Comedor I, Jose. Okay. When I will go uh, to visit a uh, 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 Tourist center, I visit uh, uh, Comedor Afco. Los Almendros. Uh -huh, Los Almendros. Yeah, go ahead. You have my WhatsApp. I'm number. sorry, Jose. Just let, just let no, I, I remember, oh, I worry. remember, I remember the last time I went to um, Apulo. I don't know if that still happens, but there were ladies outside that sell tortillas uh -huh. with pepesca. Uh -huh. Oh man, that's so good. Yes, it's good. It still happen. Oh, really? Still? Yeah, they put a pepesca on top of a tortilla and you put lemon. <laughs> oh yeah. man, that's so good. Uh, uh, teacher, Ejotillos. I don't know, but oh, uh, nice. the lake is, is the same case. Because but, oh yeah, in, in, in the Cuatepeque Lake. In Santa oh, really? Really? Yeah. Oh. And the people uh, uh, buy the the Tortilla with pepesca on, on, on the tortilla, right? So that. Oh, good. How much is it? One dollar? I don't remember. Oh, okay. But that I, I love that. And the Il, 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 Ilopango Lake, yes. Uh, One dollar uh, tortilla with pepescas. Really, I don't remember, but in this case, it's like uh, bootes. See? Yeah, okay, butes. More big than that the, the pepesca. Oh, they're bigger than the pepesca? Butes, they're yeah. called butes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, nice. Hey, that's very interesting. I'm is somebody... <laughs> no, is, no is, is somebody here from San Miguel? No? Okay, no, nobody. I, I, I thought somebody was from San Miguel. But remember, he had a long shirt. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I, I think he was here on Monday. Okay, so let's continue. So that's when we use and to connect two, two negatives or two positives. Now, we're going to use but. Too big, however. We use AND to connect two positive or two negative ideas. For example, the city is ugly and small. Canada is a big country and very clean. Notice there are two ideas in each sentence which are joined by the conjunction AND. Therefore, we can give more or extra. Did you notice which punctuation goes before AND? That's right, a comma. Let's talk about the conjunction but. This one connects a positive idea with a negative one and it goes in the middle of a sentence and a comma goes before the conjunction as well. Okay, so look. But. En español siempre decimos, ay, viene el pero. Siempre hay un pero. In English también dice, oh, there's always a but. Okay, so but and and is the same. The difference is that and you connect two positives or two negatives. When we say but, we connect one positive with one negative. Yes, okay, like uh, Miriam, she said, Apulo is beautiful, but dangerous some places. Yes, and Jose también dijo, yes, it is beautiful, but dangerous, depending on the situation. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so remember, you connect one positive and one negative. Teacher, here is the same. We cannot combine, uh, we cannot use but um, using two 
to positive or to negative? No, no, either. because it wouldn't make sense. Because when you say, okay, like, let me see. Uh, see or no, hombres le ha pasado esto. You're very nice. A, a girl que siempre dice, eh, you're very nice, but I like you for a friend. <laughs> Entonces, <laughs> y, no ha pasado a todos, creo, right? Yeah. yeah. I believe uh, you. <laughs> yeah, so you're like, you're very I nice. Uh -huh. And when you hear the but, um, but, Damn. Uh, or they say, I love you, but as a friend. Or I love you, but like my brother. Oh, God. <laughs> So, but it's a change. It's, it's like when there's a but, there's something different. So, no, Jose, in this case, you can say, you're very nice, but you're beautiful. Yeah. I, yeah. I it, because no, no, but it's a very good question. It, it's, a, it's a very good question, yes. But in this case, no. But it's only to, mm -hmm. um, to connect the positive with the negative. I, I I watch uh, Shark Tank too, and and a person of uh, uh, a shark said, uh, "Your product is very good, right? Or your business is very good, but what? I'm out." <laughs> yeah. Uh, it is bad. Yeah, hasta una entrevista de trabajo, you know, you know, we like your profile. We think you're a very good person, but. I will call you. <laughs> yeah, come I but I, I you know I I you just stand up. Oh thank you. Thank you for your time. No, don't finish. Don't don't tell me. <laughs> yeah, the the happen is that, that I think the key, I, I'm not sure it is but uh, we're gonna use but when we're gonna change the, the direction, right? Yes, if we're exactly. gonna use the first positive and then but. The, the next um gonna be negative it's like you Jose Guzman I remember you told me that you sell car parts correct yeah you said of course uh auto parts so I think tell me I don't know if I'm correct but Kia and Hyundai is pretty much the same no yes so imagine I need I need a, a an auto part for a Kia and you tell me I don't have for a Kia but I have for a Hyundai and it's the same. Yeah. So you true. can you can use an example like that. Yeah. You know, because you say, uh, do you have uh, do you have the purga válvula purga for the Kia? And let me check. No, no, I don't have for the Kia, but I do have that for the Hyundai and it's the same. And you say, no, no, I normally, want here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, normally I, I, I don't use the same, I don't have for that. I used to share, yes, I have. Because yes, I normally have. the person doesn't know something about the difference. The difference doesn't exist for the other person from Kia and Hyundai is the same. So um, I try to explain to another person that is a little complicated. I normally imagine. They, the, the customer is going to say, no, thank you. Yeah. Oh, that, that's a very good technique. Yeah. Good. Yeah. You, you, you're the expert. Yes. You know, you, you know best. All right. So, uh, but, you know, back to that. Si o no, chicos, nos ha tocado eso. O ustedes, chicas, ya han hecho eso. Le han hecho eso a algún pobre chavo que le rompieron el corazón. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> in this moment, in this moment. Oh man! Oh no, Miriam. Uh, I love you, oh, but you are very uh, angry. Uh, and then, and then, and blah, oh, blah, yeah. blah. <laughs> Okay. No, but but okay, but it's worse to say. I think you're a wonderful man. You're a beautiful person, but oh man. Ajá, but. Como dicen, lo levante y después lo deja Poor caer. boy. Yeah. <laughs> Poor boy. But I only I feel like bad, you as teacher, a friend. I feel bad. <laughs> yes, I mean. I have that's a why, question. Yes. Part. 
Oh, eh, so can we eh, say the negative idea first and after that eh, the positive idea? That the order is, eh, that is not important. Mm. Okay, let's, depends. Let's use that example. <coughs> Teacher, uh, excuse me. Yes. Eh, no sé, pero se me está apagando la cámara. Entonces pueden pensar los de Insafor que no estoy conectada, pero sí, pero no sé, ella sola se me apaga. Yo la enciendo y se me vuelve a apagar. Ok. Ok, Ana, gracias por decirme. Entonces yo mando la nota por cualquier cosa. Ok, thank you, Ana. Um, César, back to your question. Yes, but remember, o sea, regresemos a, a la chica, le dice al chico. I only like you as a friend, but you're a good person. <laughs> you know? Es por la naturaleza nuestra. Yeah, it's the, it's the normal way. To yeah, save that we start positive. The, the, positive the, the, the good news first. So that's... Exactly. <laughs> no, maybe not the good news, the good part. The bad part yeah. is last. Because imagine yeah. in a job interview, sí, no lo contratamos, pero creemos que usted es una muy buena persona, un buen candidato. Like, come on, say. <laughs> so, oh, something happened with me with uh, with my with my friend that said I'm I'm repining. How can I say that? Yeah, I tried to repair one car that I, that I'm in for from the U.S. and somebody tell me, um, would you like first the good news or the bad news? And I say <laughs> okay. it doesn't matter. Just tell me both. Yeah, if, if somebody tells you you want good news or bad news, that's good. You have an option. Yeah, tell me the bad yeah, news. But, but there is the same. Um, finally, we're going to receive the ball. It's true. It's true. It's true. All right. Um, who can? Who else can give me an example using something good? And and oh, Anna, Anna Lee said you have a friend that you broke his heart. Correct. Ms. Rivas? Si. Sí. What did you tell your friend? Because I saw you, la vi reírse cuando. Oh. What did no, you no, tell no, that no, boy? No, no, no. Eh. No, sin comentario. No, but what did you say? Oh, you're a very beautiful person, but I don't like you. Yeah. Okay, no comments, okay. Lisa Flores, can you participate, please? Uh, is he no, is uh, he no, no can uh, participate? Just invent, <laughs> imagine, invent anything. But you need to participate. Yes, Lisa. Uh, comprender mejor. Uh, do you mean that you uh, so much a uh, uh, way that your reference to something? And uh, does it good for is but I'll call some negative. I'm sorry, repeat, please. Um, Sarah Refesh, uh, the utilities um, for a Refesh on um, something is a good or the for negative? I'm sorry, I, I don't understand your, your question. Are you talking about but? Lisette Flores, are you talking about but? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, but, okay. okay look. Uh -huh. For example, uh, si, si, uh, uh, si yo digo, uh, medicine are excellent, but uh, have side effects. Exactly. But is the change. Okay. 
So listen, medicine, that's a very good example. Medicines are excellent, comma. But they have side effects. Una pregunta, okay. Lisette. ¿Y esa, ese ejemplo fue suyo o lo sacó de algún libro? No, fue mío. <laughs> oh, that was a very good example. <laughs> okay. Es que tengo mala conexión, entonces no les comprendo algunas cosas. Oh, ok, entonces, yes. Me tenía confundido. No, uh, but, but, hasta, but es el famoso, igual en español, ya se hizo cultural eso, ay, viene el pero. Yeah. Fíjese que pensamos que usted es un buen trabajador y esto y nos cae muy bien. Siempre nos hablan bien de usted y uno, ajá, ajá. Y por dentro ya está pensando, ajá, pero ya viene el pero. Y usted siempre ha llegado tarde, nunca falta. Pero, y ahí va. Uh -huh. Pero fíjese que vamos a tener que hacer un recorte de personal y nada, nada. That's how it is in English. Oh man, I've been a butt. You know, you're a good person. You are very responsible, comma. But, you know, COVID and this, we have to cut the personnel. And I'm sorry. All right. Um, Ana Francisca Nieto, give me an example with but. Okay. Um, um, I live in Santa Tecla, and Santa Tecla is uh, very, very cold, but is is very cold, but is in this moment is uh, hot. Okay. Good. 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 All right, nice. Okay. Catherine Giselle okay. Maldonado, hi. Hi. So tell me something good and bad about pupusas. Mm. The pupusas, it's delicious, but- are, Pupusas are delicious. Are pupusas delicious, but in, in in my city some bad are bad okay good or you can say pupusas are very good but very fattening yep yes pupusas are very good but it's like pan dulce pan dulce is so good but it's very bad for you because it's full sugar. But man, if you see a semita with all the miel oh, and coffee. Come on, teacher. <laughs> I like to semita. <laughs> Me too. I, I, I like. With coffee. I like, I tell my wife when she calls me, she knows that I like El famoso pan de velorio. Uh -huh. Like lo quemado. I like that. And, uh, yes. <laughs> I don't like cheesecake or or bleh. I like I like cheap. <laughs> All right. That one. That. Jose Isaias. Yes, teacher. Tell me, tell me something about, please be very um, neutral. Tell me something about the government in El Salvador in this moment. Uh, well, the government is, uh, or, or have a good administration, but, um, it doesn't like uh, a lot of people. Okay, good. Okay, okay, good. Or maybe you can say like the government 
has a good administration or, or maybe the government has good intentions, but they have bad enemies. <laughs> They have a the the no, the government maybe has good intentions, but they have a very big opposition. That I think I think that's a perfect example. Le guste o no, el, el, el gobierno, cualquier gobierno que está en el mundo. Maybe you say okay, the government has this, but the opposition is very bad. I can have problems with some people. Uh, if I thought about the government. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, yeah, that's true. I, 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 I'm honest. I, I voted for naive. And maybe, maybe, maybe I would vote again. But not for naive because I am very, very happy what is happening to Arena and FMLN. <laughs> Que todos, they're all scared. <laughs> but I imagine in 10, in 10 years, maybe in 10 years, naive va a estar como Quijano, maybe, I don't know. Because in 10 years, maybe, maybe they will go after naive. But for the moment, I don't know. Uh, I Well, for the moment, I think the government is working, but the opposition, it's working. <laughs> it's working hard. <laughs> it's working very hard too. Very I know, and, and the opposition yeah. is very is the opposition is very powerful in this moment because it has United States, it has Arena and FMLN in United States together. Cuando se va a ver eso? So, yeah, it has never. It's never happened. So, but that's a good example. You know, any government, incluso si fuera Arena or FMLN. I think the FMLN government is working, but the opposition is very big. If si fuera Arena, the government Arena is working, but the opposition is very difficult. Mm -hmm. That's politics always. Jose Jovito, are you there? Hi, teacher. Hello, can you tell me something about La Selecta? Si es que hay algo positivo que decir de ellos. <laughs> la Selecta is... Is very bad. The football is very sick. Hey, um... I like the Selecta, but it's completely complicated. But it's complicated. Yeah. This is a good example. I think, Cesar, you asked me if I can start with a negative and finish with a positive. It was Cesar? Yeah, yeah. I see. Okay, that. okay. La that. selecta, la selecta. It's true. Okay, aquí va un ejemplo. No he notado que oh, la, okay. selecta, la selecta siempre dice: perdimos, pero ganamos experiencia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they always say that. It's a good example. <laughs> That's a very good example. You know, <laughs> we lost again, but we won a lot of experience. <laughs> yeah, 25 años con eso. <laughs> a lot of experience. Yeah. Que dicen, jugamos como nunca, pero perdimos como siempre. <laughs> I'm going to be the, the name. Yeah. We played like like we never have as always uh, yeah but we lost as always yeah <laughs> yeah but la selecta they always say that we lost yes but we won a good experience <laughs> please yes what about the uh la selecta de la playa what do you think very good question <laughs> i i think and <laughs> I don't know. I think they are good, but they always, when they make to the quarterfinals, they stop. 
the selecta always plays good, but after the fourth or fifth game, they're disqualified. Have you noticed que siempre llegan como al, alguna semifinal y ahí? I think that they need more practice. They do, they do, but they're very good. They're very good. And and you know you know already. Um, uh, we have um, a stadium in Napolo. Oh really? You have a stadium? Yeah, for that and for that. How can I say? Uh, football de playa. Beach soccer. Beach soccer. Yeah. Oh, that's that's cool. That's good. So, Jose Jovito, I'm sorry. Can you give me an example then about La Selecta? Yes, okay. For me. Yeah, but it's complicated. Football de Selecta is... Oh, let, let me change. Do you think Fito Celaya needs to go to La Selecta? Que ejemplos, tamaños, <laughs> lo primero que se me viene a la mente. Okay, so, so you say Fito Celaya is good, but is good, is, is good he is corrupted. But he is corrupt football. Yes, he corrupted soccer. Yes. Okay, so that's good. It's okay. a good example. Okay, good, yes, because that, that's what everybody says. Yes, Fito Celaya is good, but he corrupted soccer, yes? <laughs> All right, who has not given me an example with but? Aida Lisette Mendez de Perez. Yes, teacher. Give me an example. Okay, well, I live in Santa Tecla and I think the Multiplaza is a very good place, but it's a very expensive. But it's very expensive, okay, good. All right, it's like me. I hate Metro Centro, but I always go there. So do I. Yes, I really, really, really hate Metro Centro because there's no parking and there's a lot of people. A lot of people. But everything is there. Banks, Del Sur, Anda. <laughs> That's the only reason yeah. I, I go. That's true. Supermarkets, Dollar City. <laughs> Everything. Neveria. Por si mijo me pido un sorbet. Imagine if I go to, if I go to La Gran Vía, I have to buy Boston. <laughs> but if I go to uh, Metro Centro, I can buy Sarita. <laughs> 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 no. Okay, good. Um, Jose Isaias. Oh, yeah, you, you gave me the example, right, about the government. Uh, Jose Carlos, give an example using but. Oh, okay, you know what? Think of something you like, but you don't like. Okay, um... No, like, let me give you an example. I like cheese and I like milk, but I don't like cream. Um... I like uh, I like hot milk, but I don't like uh, I don't like milk uh, too. Cold. Okay, so you like hot milk, but you don't like cold milk. Yes. Yeah. All right. Good. You know how to say gallina in English? Hen. 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 I love hen soup, 
but I don't like hen. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's strange. I I don't like hen. It's too hard. We second. I mean, but I like the soup. The soup is good with with all the vegetables. Do you do you do you like? What about you? Do you know anything? Do you like something but? I don't I like I don't mm -hmm. like reggaeton, but I like some songs. Remember oh. Tego Calderon? I remember <laughs> the old old reggaeton, but I don't like I don't listen to reggaeton. But maybe two, three songs I like. <laughs> All right. So I'm sorry, Miriam, you were going to give me an example? Uh, yes, I like to eat pizza, but it's dangerous for my health, specifically okay. my stomach. Yeah, okay, good, good, good. Anybody else? Yeah, <laughs> I will, I will like play football, but I have two left feet. <laughs> you have two left feet, oh, okay, too bad. All right, okay, somebody else? I really enjoy riding motorcycle as fast as I can, but I know that it's dangerous. Oh, okay, good, that's true. Okay, look, I really like photography. I love photography, but now I don't practice anymore because I don't have time. And my son is, is very small. So I, for photography, you need time. You need patience. But imagine you go to a, a Parque Centenario and, Papa, wait, 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 Papa, wait, what? Oh, God. So when you get married and you're a father, yeah. forget your hobbies. I, I have a daughter. She has four years. Oh, yeah. Yeah, my, my son is five, so it's impossible to. <laughs> Maybe when he's older. Yes, uh, Miriam, who, who called me? Oh, me, teacher. Oh, Lisette, uh, hi. Yeah. The water is nice, but it's too cold. Very good. Okay, the weather is nice, but it's too cold. Good. Oh, okay, look. I like the beach, but I don't like the sun. Really, I don't I don't like this. I don't I don't like that. So I don't go to the beach. <laughs> I go to the beach, but in the morning, like at 6 a.m. or in the afternoon, like exactly. at 5 p.m. Oh, yeah. But, but you know, like when you go with your family that you have to go the whole day, uh, I don't like that. Hmm. I, or, or I stay under, under a little house, but I don't like the sun. I, I don't like... Yeah, okay. Sure. What about some somebody somebody else? Is there something you like? But I like go to the beach, but I have I I have sand. You what? I like go to the beach, but I really have sand. You get a headache. <laughs> oh, I hate sand. Okay. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Yes, that's true. I like beer, but I don't like to get drunk. I love tequila, but I don't like to get drunk. Yes, Noemi. I like real. A horse, I don't like motorcycle, real motorcycle. 
So yeah, okay, you like to ride a horse, uh, but you don't like to ride motorcycles. Uh, <laughs> Jose oh. Guzman again. <laughs> Poor Jose, everybody uh, knowing me, you yeah. you're a nice person, but you hate Jose Guzman. <laughs> the first yeah, the, I don't leg, know why. <laughs> the leg and the second uh the motorcycles. <laughs> the motorcycles. The motorcycle, Bad examples. The, the planes, the next, you know, you know what's next? It's your life. She will say, okay. I like I like boys, but I don't like men that sell auto parts. <laughs> <laughs> That's the next. <laughs> <laughs> huh? The next. You need, you need auto parts. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. All right. Uh, hey, Jose Carlos, give me an a, example. If you had a car. If I what? I think we lost connection, Jose. Hello? Okay, Jose Carlos. Hoy sí, hoy sí puede decir su ejemplo de. The entre nubes is really nice, but it's expensive. Yes, it's, it's, it's very nice. It's a place very nice, but the food is very expensive. How much? How much is a typical breakfast? Uh six or seven dollars. Okay, and a lunch. Um, fifteen dollars. Fifteen. Uh, depends. <laughs> okay, so in this case, you say from maybe from ten to twenty dollars. Yes. Okay. Um, 10, yes, 10 or $20. From uh, 10 to $20. $20. Uh, depends. Uh, people. Kind of food for kind of food. Chicken or Oh, okay, okay. All right, good. All right, good, good, good. Okay, anybody else? Jose Isaias, give me an example. What food do you like, but? Uh, let me see. Uh, I like uh, coffee, but it's bad to my heart. Okay, you know what? This is a good example. I love coffee, but I don't drink instant coffee. Coffee. That's not coffee. Mm -hmm. <laughs> coffee, coffee is cafeteria coffee, like, but Folgers or Cafe Listo, no, that's not coffee. <laughs> Ana Lisette Rivas, give me an example. I like the bicycle, but I don't have. I don't have one. Well. Okay, hey, that's a good example. I like bicycles, but I don't have one. Okay, all right, no problem. Yeah, that, that was a good example. Okay, class, so that's, that's, that's today, okay? Uh, la palabra del día de hoy. Antes que se queden. Déjenme decirles. La palabra del día de hoy es fuck. Por algunas reacciones creo que todos saben Hoy ya la han oh. oído. Yes? Like, oh, yes, I, I, fuck. Hmm. Okay. Historia de fuck. En, en tiempos medievales, cuando uno piensa en medieval, solo eran guerras. Que este país conquistaba aquel, que aquel, 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 aquel. aquel. Entonces, todos los hombres pasaban en guerra. 
Y si este hombre, si Iván Aguirre estaba casado y este hombre ya nunca regresó, no regresó porque o lo mataron o está prisionero o se escapó. Y si ustedes han visto a través de la historia, la historia siempre ha sido bien machista porque las mujeres en la historia lastimosamente solo han servido antes para cocinar y limpiar, I don't know. ¿Ya? Entonces, pobrecita la mujer, cuando se le iba este hombre a pelear en la guerra y él ya no regresaba porque ya tenía su hogar acá. Pero como se le era prohibido trabajar o algo, porque obviamente tenía un esposo, pero el esposo se fue a la guerra, ya no volvió. Después de cierto tiempo, ella podía rehacer su vida otra vez. Y lo hacían. Porque necesitaban a alguien que las mantuviera, pues. No, y no en el sentido malo, o sea, porque hoy sí hay muchas mujeres que buscan quien la mantenga por vida fácil. <risa> o viceversa, hay hombres que también buscan lo mismo, pero antes así era, así era la, lastimosamente, por, bueno, pero lo que pasaba era que esta mujer legalmente aún estaba casada. Y antes de ella casarse otra vez, tenía que ir al rey y explicarle. rey ya llevó dos años mi esposo ya no volvió ya no se supo de él no me informaron si se ha muerto si ya no vino si está prisionero me quiero volver a casar entonces si el rey le daba el permiso le daba un título algo que decía fuck f punto u punto c punto k punto que significaba fornication under consentment of king que es fornicación bajo el consentimiento del rey significaba que esa mujer ya no la podían ahorcar o quemar por fornicar yes. porque antes así de tontas eran las leyes y la mujer tenía relaciones no estando casada era Oh my God, hay que quemarla. Pero si ella tenía el permiso del rey, eso era. Fornication under consentment of king. Muy interesante. Hoy es verbo. <laughs> yes, it's a verb today, but, but really the, the history of the word is very interesting. I don't believe you. No, really, it's true. Y de hecho, creo que Netflix sacó una, una serie, no sé si aún está, que el origen de las palabras en inglés. Y creo que Nicolas Cage le toca hacer ese episodio y hablan de, de esa palabra. De, y hablan de esa teoría de fornication under consignment of king. That's a good story. I have never listened it. Yeah, it's, it's very interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's really nice. Excuse me? It's really nice. Yeah. To know about history. It's history. Yes. Mm -hmm. Y, y siempre puede que haya otras formas o otras. Siempre va a haber otras versiones. Pero esta es la más como acertada. Incluso está en libros también. Yes. Eh, y, y fíjese que tiene mucha lógica porque si uno, si uno le pregunta qué significa fuck, significa muchas cosas como maldición, híjole, oh man, o sea, tiene tantos significados. Por eso, porque nunca se... se la idea no era que fuera mala palabra, sino que era, era un permiso realmente. Yes. Ok, class, ahí mañana les enseño otra palabra. Uh, that's my... Ok, teacher, thank you. Ok, teacher, nada. 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 Disculpe, antes que nada, en ningún momento, ojalá nadie se ofenda con lo que le acaba de decir. Simplemente lo hice por cultura, ok. 
Yes, no, no, no Gracias es que... por compartir esa palabra. Sí, oh, por favor, fuck. no vayan a decir, ah, ayer mi teacher me enseñó a decir fuck. ¿Qué fue mi taller? Ah, fuck. No. A decir fuck. Uh, Como yes. los niños. Ah, uh, bueno. Yes. yes. Ok, ok, okay let's see you tomorrow. See you, bye bye. Tomorrow. See you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.